gas station log. It is July 1st, the first day of July. Yay, buddies. Okay. Let's go rock the gas station in July, because June is over. That's a nice little classic vintage car right there. It's an old Thunderbird. I have no idea what year, but yeah. Towing it away. That's too bad. It's a beautiful car. Too bad it had to be stolen. Stolen car. That'll get you arrested. Gas station log, buddies. What is up? It is 4.15 on July 1st. It's July 1st, buddies. Yay! The month of red. July has always been a red month to me. Um, and it's interesting because I got the keys to the house today. I gave uh, my landlord... Um, the first hundred dollars got the keys and I'm gonna start taking stuff over there tonight There's no power power doesn't get turned on until tomorrow But I could definitely start taking stuff like my dresser and end table and stuff That's just kind of cluttering up the, my motel room right now. I can get that out Be that way I can move the last of my stuff out tomorrow and drop the key off and be done with the motel I'm really excited about that, and I'll, you know, give you a tour and show you around my new house, because that'll be awesome. So, yeah, okay, July 1st, let's do it, July! You're my favorite month of the year! Oh my gosh, you know what I just realized? In 25 days, I'm going to be 40 years old. You know what's so distressing about that? I remember when my dad turned 40. And I thought he, well, he's, my dad, he's an old guy. And oh my gosh, he's 40-40. Lordy, lordy, he's 40-40. And he's, you know, over the hill or whatever they call that. I remember when he turned 40. I was about eight years old. And now I'm older than he was when I knew him first. And that makes me feel really old. I remember when my dad turned 40, and now I'm going to turn 40, and I don't know what to think about that. It's crazy. Lordy, lordy, I'm going to be 40. That's crazy. How did that happen? I was like a kid, and then I was in high school last I knew, and then I was in my 20s, and I vaguely remember ending up in my 30s, and now I'm going to be 40? Uh, I don't know. I seriously don't think I'm ready to be 40 yet. Nah. You see, acknowledge, see, here's the thing. If I didn't acknowledge I was 40, I might be fine. If I didn't have to think about it. But the fact that I have a 40th birthday coming up, it's liable to throw me into a midlife crisis for absolutely no reason other than the fact that I don't want to be 40 yet. I just, I don't know that I'm ready to do that. Gas station log, everybody. How are you doing? It's been rainy and thunderstorming out today on July 1st, on this stormy July 1st. So yeah, it would be really interesting. Everybody, at least at least the way I look at it, I kind of feel like, okay, I'm about to turn 40. I feel like I'm about to enter the second half of my life. And all I can say is, encouraged by the Book of Job, hopefully this is where my life turns around and God starts like blessing tenfold everything that I had and then didn't have. I don't know what that would look like, but anyway, I just know that I'm getting elderly, and that sounds weird, it feels weird, um, I feel like I'm getting elderly. When you hit 40, I mean, it's often likened to, okay, uh, you're over the hill, you've made it to the top of the hill, and now you're on your way back down the other side of the hill. Well, I have to admit, like... The way I've gone about my life, I never considered that before, and I don't like thinking about my mortality like that. Um, I have less life in front of me than I have behind me, probably, and that's weird to think about. It's not that, oh no, I don't want that, it's just weird, it bends my brain. I don't want to think about that. I've got a lot more beard to grow before I can be okay with, you know, being completely gray and old and stuff like that I'm hoping I literally I get to start moving into my new house today beginning of July all so far 2018 has been about damage control and trying to pick up the pieces of my broken life and getting them back to where they're you know 
whatever. And now here it is, July 1st, uh, 25 days before I turn 40. I'm finally moving into my own house. It's just gonna be me in a happy house. I'm hoping that this could be the beginning of great blessing that God wants to pour out on me because God knows I've been through some hard times. I've gone through a lot and I'm, you know, if I could call it the Job's, yeah, the Job extrapolation, that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to, I'm, I'm putting, I'm hoping that, you know, God will at least give me the dignity in my old age. What's that, Sonny? I couldn't quite hear you. That God will give me the dignity of a more simple and maybe an easier life, you know, because I honestly, I believe that, that God created men to grow old with dignity, and I believe that God, res you know, respects and intends old people to have dignity. That's why, you know, listen to your elders, you know, they've been around the block a few times. They've accumulated wisdom. I think, you know, if you do all those things, then God wants you to be dignified and respected. And it'd be nice if I could get that for once. Gas station log. I just got off of work and I'm taking my Basically, I took my Jeep over here, and everything that's been in my Jeep for the last six months, I'm emptying into my house. So let me show you around. This is my new house. We're inside of it. Okay, now we're focused, sort of. So there's my Jeep outside. And this is the living room. Power gets turned on tomorrow, and oh! What's in here? little rod on the floor? There's the kitchen. What is this over here? Okay, so this opens up into one of the bedrooms. We'll get to that in a minute. Nice little quaint vibe. It's like a little kid's room or something. I mean, this is a three bedroom house, so. So there's this room, this is the living room. Pretty good sized room. This is the kitchen. Comes with a dishwasher. Came with a fridge, comes with a stove, sink, drawers, cabinets, a window to my backyard. There is my backyard. Oh, that's a neat little chandelier. Check that out. So yeah, this is my kitchen. That's where the washer and dryer are gonna go. They get hooked up right there. Bathroom. There's little fishies on the wall or something. There's Shower bathtub, it'll be good to take a shower in one of these again. Okay, so there's a broom sweep I can sweep up later. So this is the room that we were in a minute ago, um, from the living room. That's the living room right there. Oh look, there's... Save... So there's Save-A-Lot, for those of you who know where that is. That's where I'm at, next to Save-A-Lot and Dollar General. So this is... One of the three bedrooms. It's about yay big. Um, needs us a little cleaned up. That's all right. We can do that. Um, okay, that's that. Here is the second bedroom. It's much larger, as you can see, my young friend. Okay, so closet over here. More on my backyard. Air conditioner. This is going to be my bedroom. There's this weird thing on the wall. I know it's so hard to see, but... So... There's stuff. There's a, t a dresser in here. That's freaking awesome. Okay, so that is a tour of the inside of the house. And oh, I forgot the best part. Yeah, there's definitely no power. The garage. There is a garage. And that's freaking awesome. I can actually keep my Jeep indoors in the winter time or whenever. Oh, hey, there's a TV over there. Okay, that's where the breaker box is. Okay, cool. That's the house. Peace out.